Hey guys, welcome back. Today's uh, Good Friday, Easter, and it's so quiet. So I, I thought I'd take the chance to make a video on um, the greenhouse tropicals. And they're all waiting in here. So let's, let's check them out. I'm trying to be quiet because a lot of people are um, still sleeping. It's like um, nine o'clock in the morning. So now that I have it open, we can get closer and have a look at the progress. And boy, what a progress it's been in only two weeks. Remember, I only put these in here two weeks ago. So um, get ready to be amazed. I sure am. And uh, let's get a little closer. I'm going to pull <coughs> some of the front ones out so I can get back there and get closer. But before I pull them out, I want you to... Oh, this one needs a bit of um, spray. Just noticed that. Yeah. It's good to check every, every um, few days. That's the uh, Sapodilla. See that three days ago, or even two days ago, that wasn't there. So something has, has attacked that. Oop, and the other Sapodilla too. Wow. Wow, that was like really, um, really, uh, what's the word? Savage. Wow, two days ago I watered all these, and that wasn't, that wasn't there. So I've got to get onto it. Okay. So the first, the first um, trees, guys, are the the lychees. I've got one, two, three here in the front and uh, you can see up close there's new growth on all of them. I'll tell you the variety in just a moment. You can see the new growth. Fucking sounds like the neighbors doing construction work on Good Friday in the morning. I guess that's the only time he has to do it. So, new growth there. Actually, all over. New growth all over. And this is the the red ball lychee. And then we have this one. Same. It's the same results. All this new growth. So I'm pretty happy about that. The temperatures here, the last couple of weeks, have only been around 20 to 23. But um, yesterday and today and tomorrow, we're going to hit 30. So I'm going to leave the, the door open. The flap, I always keep it closed. This is the Salatil. And the third one is the uh, Wei Chi. And as you can see, lots of new growth on the Wei Chi as well. All of them. They've done so, so well. It's a great investment, this um, greenhouse. The Wei Chi has got um, a lot of new growth all over. So, now I'm going to pull these three guys out. And then I'll show you the next three. As you can see in the morning, there's no sun here, as I've said many times. It starts coming down at the far end at around 11, 11.30. So in about um, two hours. Well, actually, it's already started on, on, on this side here. And then by 12, all this is covered. And then by 12.31, the greenhouse is in full sun too. It's because of, uh, for those who don't know, because of this tall tree, pine tree, yeah, monster, monstrous. All right, so next we have um, the two sapodillas that I just showed you at the start, and they've done really well. Well, they were doing well even outside the greenhouse, <clears throat> but now I've got to take care of this problem. I've got to get some eco oil, 
and spray it on there. Oh, nasty, this happened in 48 hours. Wow. And I'm guessing it's because of the heat we had. Uh, I've only got the flaps open. I didn't have the door open yesterday when it was 30. See that? I only had that open. And the other two on that side. Those two flaps there. So it got to 33 Celsius in here yesterday whilst we were at the beach. And probably the humidity was 100%. This usually comes from very high humidity. But it doesn't affect all the trees. It only affects, it only affected two out of 22. So go figure. Why? That's the question. I beg the question, why? It didn't affect the jackfruit or um, any of the others. Anyway, so the two... Um, supper diggers they were doing good before the greenhouse and they're still doing good these are both grafted the variety is um, Sawa Manila and tropical can't wait to get two more grafted ones next season from dailies there's two more that I want so I can have them in, growing in pots I'm not going to put these in the ground they're too valuable or too hard to source and in the middle here we have um, a recent arrival the African Pride Custard Apple hybrid of um, Atemoya Reticulata as they, they like to call it and nothing yet on this because it's, I've only had it for two weeks not much at all So that's um, the new custard apple. I've had the um, supper diggers about four months. They did so well over summer outside. But it seems they don't like humidity. See how, how I'm learning? By experimenting. Okay, next we have this guy here who seems to have put new growth on. New growth. New growth and lots of new growth up here this looks like an anona let's verify oh yes it's a picon relinia from northern new south wales and um, lots of new growth all across all across and you won't believe it i just saw it now not only new growth coming up along the stem not only that but look oh, let's see if I can focus look at that one two three three um, flowers on the uh, Rolinia and I've only had it like um, gee I think I've had this only like two months I think I got it in January at the height of summer. Yeah, so the Picone Rolinia is flowering. Look at that. Hmm? Four flowers. I've got something crawling on my neck. Ah. Bit of chewing going on here. So I have to spray. Got to spray, guys. So that's pretty good news on this. Of course, I'm not going to let it um, fruit. If any fruit lets appear, I'm going to take them off. It's only a baby. It's barely um, a year old. A year, maybe in its second year. Next is the peanut butter fruit tree. Yep, peanut butter tree. This one's doing okay. <clears throat> Not as green as I would like it compared to the the tree next to it. And it's got a little roughness around the edges, but it got two new leaves at the top over over the end of summer. I, I only picked this up in uh, February. Actually, I've only had this about a month. So we want a bit of color on that. 
it's looking pale compared to the see the jackfruit behind it the green see the difference in green yeah and don't worry i'm fertilizing everything everything is getting sea soil and um and taken care of as far as that's concerned yeah but otherwise very healthy just more green we want more green mr peanut butter fruit and less sooking see that there's a sign of a sook right there yeah next is the um, allspice champion a true champion this guy took 40 celsius of um, direct sunlight in um, summer when we had that one day of 40 39 not a problem it took took the brunt of um, full sun with 110 Fahrenheit all right that's those three so let me pull them out so I can go behind next we have uh, what looks like uh, another Onona this tall one and uh, two jackfruits so let's get closer to this Onona seems to have new growth coming which is always a good sign running all the way down we love it we love seeing new growth on these hooks They say 9B, <coughs> which is where I am, but really these are 10A um, trees in my, in my view, okay? On paper they're 9B, but because they're so sensitive, they're probably 9B when they're fully established, but not when they're babies. <laughs> when they're babies they're not 9B, you leave it out in, in a 30 degree um, frost and see how 9b it is so what's this one? Oh, that's the mountain sour sop yeah I decided to play with this one since the regular sour sop has failed me twice and that's was it twice or three times three to three times and three strikes and out with uh, my um, <coughs> experimenting and since I'm down here, next to it is uh, this guy, which is the Capel apple. I made a huge mistake back in summer when we had those hot days. And uh, I left it in full sun. This does not like full sun, man. No way. Look what happened. It turned to sandpaper. The leaves, the leaves that, that it came with from dailies. <coughs> See that? That's how I learn what likes sun and what doesn't like sun by trying for myself but thankfully in this greenhouse it's gotten um, all these new leaves which it didn't have before I came in here two weeks ago so that's a really great um, thing to see don't know what that is yeah all around champion the capel which another it's another 10a 10b tree in my view even though it's um probably 9b on paper and i've got two of them the other one is around it's back there i'll show it to you later when we get there okay next we have one two three grafted jackfruits three different varieties and all three are doing exceedingly well stunningly well and I'm happy to say rather than I uh, give bad news I'm gonna give good news with um, these jackfruit finally it's done more listen to this these jackfruits have done more in two weeks only two weeks in this greenhouse than I did in two months out in the open 
out there during summer. They did better in here in two weeks than out there for two months in summer. That's how amazing it is to have a greenhouse, guys. <laughs> I'm showing you the proof and the evidence. This is the oldest of the three, the Kyogul Gold, which is where um, Daly's Nursery is located in northern New South Wales. So this is their own special variety. And look at that. New growth, new growth, new growth everywhere. Down here, new growth, and up here, new growth, new growth. It's just covered with new growth all around. I've had this one for um, a year and a half. It spent, it spent um, its first winter in the other greenhouse, the polycarbonate, and now it's going to spend its second winter in um, in this greenhouse. So this is year number two in Melbourne for this guy. Okay, I can talk about that for, for forever. Next one, these two came this summer or yeah, over this summer, which was um, November, December, January. And again, all the new growth, all the new growth guys. Look, look how perky um, the leaves are, perky. Check out the perkiness. I mean, not only perky, they're standing. This is literally standing up, this leaf, right? So when you see perky, 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 you're doing something right with these sooks. And this variety here is mm, black gold from Queensland. beautiful actually this is probably doing the best out of all three even outside it was doing well in the Sun <coughs> next is this one here the Duranba gold which is another one from northern New South Wales near tropical fruit world from actually tropical fruit world their, their selection and uh, there's some new growth in there around there top right very healthy it's only one leaf that's got a bit of a bruise from being in the hot sun over summer this one here one leaf the rest is all looking excellent so now I'm gonna pull these out of the way so I can get back to the corners okay now I have uh, access the table here and there's six plants uh, a lot of these are rare starting with um, this guy here um, he's still drooping okay uh, this one here and that one there they don't like full Sun they hate it they really um, got affected in summer and that's how I learned to bring them into the shade they don't like Sun at all not when they're young anyway and uh, it's been three months since they were affected by hot sun and they're still drooping a little down at the bottom they're doing fine so there's not much new action on either of them except this one here got some new tips recently but again looks like aphids attacked and back here some uh, black soot right sooty mold so I've got to clean that up with um, eco oil right the same 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 with um, the tropicals because of the humidity in here it gets very humid up to a hundred percent even with all four flaps with all four of these open it still gets to a hundred percent So what are they? Well, that one back there is the um, Madrono, right? And this one over here with a similar habit, 
growth habit is the achacha. Oops. Ah. The achacha. Yeah, these take a long time to fruit. Even the one at daily took like, I think, five years or ten years. I'm not sure. So here in Melbourne, if I ever get it to survive, it'll probably take um, ten years. But that's all right. We've got plenty of time in here in this greenhouse. All right, next. Is, uh, oh, and there's new growth coming here, I think. Yep, there it is, new growth on the achacha. But again, the aphids find the new growth instantly. Look. Look at that. See how they found it? They're onto it already. So, that's not good. They're giving me work to do. They're giving me work to do, guys. Next is the um, sugar apple which um, hasn't done much at all. I've had this for a year and a half. And boy, oh boy, what a slow coach. What a slow coach the sugar apple has been. I should have got another one, just in case this was a dud. Sometimes you get lemons. This one looks like a lemon. Yep. And then, moving to this corner here, is the La Cucha. Called monkey jack and that's got new growth which came over the last two or so weeks all these leaves here at the top but the aphids had no interest in um, in these new um, tips no interest at all so they, it seems like they have particular taste buds or um, taste for certain plants next is uh, the umbrella but actually it's not an umbrella at all. <laughs> I found out later. I need, to, I need to replace this label. I don't know how I'm going to do it. That was a mistake on Daly's behalf. This is um, Alma. This is a Alma. Or Amla. Amla, sorry. Amla tree. Yeah. The Indian gooseberry, I believe. And that's doing great. But I need to um, increase the pot size. Even now, at the end of the growing season... Because, and I should have done it last month, I thought it's summer's over. I'll wait till next spring, but um, not, not when you see this. You think I should wait till next spring? Huh? It's root bound. Yeah. And the soil is dry as heck, even though I watered it two days ago together with with all the other plants look wet black soil brown dry soil side by side the same watering um, amount same water look they're all dark look at the sugar apple it's all dark the madrono so I'm gonna repot this before we go to the beach yep we're off to the beach again guys making the most of um late season um, beach weather. Next is the star apple, the caimito. This one's doing really well. Again, just like the uh, sour sop, I've had no luck at all with um, star apple, zero. They end up dying on me around June or early July when uh, mid, mid winter hits in Australia. So we'll see how this goes in this new greenhouse over winter. Looks good now, doesn't it? As we come into mid-autumn. Next is that one over there in the corner. It's got new growth, I'm very happy for. Beautiful, look at that. And again in the middle. And down here. Look at that. Um, two weeks ago, this had no new growth at all. This tree. It was just these old leaves. So this is really um, benefited from being in here. The old leaves have been chewed badly, but that started way before they came in the greenhouse. And the tree is 
sand hole. And that's definitely a ultra tropical zone 10. Although some say it's 9B, I don't agree. Here we have another um, Capel apple. This one's faring a little better than the other one. Or the other one, the other one's got new growth. Have a look. <clears throat> the difference. I've got two of them. See that? See the difference when you bite, when you have two fruits, uh, two trees. This one does nothing, and this one's got new growth. So you can't tell unless you have multiples, guys. That's why I'm buying, um, I'm collecting multiple mangoes, multiple um, star apples, multiple star fruits, multiple um, jackfruits. Look, look at the difference. These, these, are, these have been like joint twins. They go everywhere together. They go everywhere together. So, does Capel Apple do well in Melbourne? I don't know. What do you think? Yes? No. Yes? No. What's the difference? I got a second tree. That's the only difference. Next is a, a reed avocado. And that's got a lot of new growth in there. All right, that's nothing really rare or exotic to report on. So, I'm going to just move on. So, it's doing pretty good. This one isn't doing very good at all. It dropped all its leaves. Almost all its leaves. Back in um, summer. Again, young avocados don't like direct sun in summer. This is the choquette. And that one's the reed. These are all grafted. So now it's recovering from that mistake I made in summer. Hopefully in uh, winter, spring, it'll be full of new leaves. Next. Okay, there's sun coming in here now. See how it got, it got sunny all of a sudden? Look at this. In the last 20 minutes. Wow. Big change. Um, next is <sighs> Abu, which I've also had no luck with. In the same category as um, Star Apple and, and um, um, what did we call it? I forgot now. Anyway, this is um, this one is doing pretty good in here. Again, last year I had one of these and it did well until winter came it was in a greenhouse and it died it died in the greenhouse yep so i'm hoping this new location here where the hedge was in this new greenhouse it'll do much better again something's eating it look at this look at this strip of a leaf but anyway um yep it's looking good it's bushy the one i had last year was more um like the choquette a single stem going up and it's got new growth everywhere but it's getting chewed up by some critter so overall it's doing great next is a barbados cherry acerola and it's got new growth everywhere all the tips i'll go from from the other way to show you because see I'm like behind it okay now I'm standing outside the greenhouse you can see the green tips from this angle much better can you see how how there's a lot of new tips green tips well you can't see from there but yeah you can see them there it's doing really well I had one of these in the ground last year in the winter and it died from root rot. So he's not going in the ground this year, this new one. And then we move out over to this side here, guys, where we begin with this one. <clears throat> this is the Umbarella. 
not the dwarf, the regular size umbrella. It's got a bit of um, old leaves falling down here, but that's all right. A lot of new growth at the top. This was doing quite well even before the greenhouse, although here at the end it's not looking very happy. It's a little dry or drooping. So let's have a look. It's still moist. It's still moist. So maybe it needs um, just more time to recover. <laughs> Can you hear those parrots? The ones who ate my persimmons the other day. Next tree is um, the Rossopodi canistel egg fruit. Looks good here. It's got new growth. Right, very green and lush, but down here at the center, it's got a lot of um, old leaves that were stunned back in summer. Again, this one doesn't like full sun either. See how I found out? That's how I know it doesn't like full sun when it's young. We're talking the first year, second year, not talking when it's 10 years old. Next is this haggard tree. Look at those haggard leaves. But, good news, it's getting new growth at the tips and new leaves. Let me see if I can open this one. Looks like, again, aphids are in here. Uh, yep, yep, there they are. Ah, oh, man. No? Oh, no, they're not there. It was just stuck together. And as you can see from the label, we're talking star apple again. This is the um, Grimmel variety. And uh, it's got new tips everywhere, which is good to see. Right? I'm just interested to see how, what, it will, what it will do when winter comes. Now it's autumn, we still have 20 to 30 Celsius or uh, 70 to 85 Fahrenheit of course it's gonna do fine <laughs> but come June July and we're not gonna be at 30 Celsius anymore I can guarantee you that this guy here is the Mamei Sapodi which was doing really good outside the greenhouse in summer full Sun and it's doing real great in here too and it looks like it's got new growth In the middle <clears throat> see if I can reach the label it's in the far corner oh, yep there it is Mamei Sapodi that's um, nice trunk on that one and now if I was in um, the subtropics I would be planting this in the ground next spring, next season. It's got a one inch thick um, trunk. Definitely ready for planting in the right place, but where I am is not the right place. So before I put everything back in, I'm going to repot this um, Amla or Alma. I forget which, which, um, which way it's spoken. And um, then I'll put everything back in. To its um, little pouch. Okay, guys. The Amla has a new pot. Before we put everything back in. Okay, let's get everything in. I almost forgot the eco oil, guys. What was I thinking? Huh? Before I put everything in. Mm. So who needed it again? I forgot. I can't remember. Oh yeah. 
my drono and uh, yeah my drono and a little bit here on the on the um, uh, achacha yeah give those a spray and then I think the other two or three were the sapodia two of them and that's it right That's it, everyone's back in. Repotted back there. The amla. And uh, sprayed the uh, uh, sapodillas. One and two. And uh, we are done. So because it's going to be 30 today, around 86, 88 Fahrenheit, I'm thinking of leaving the, the flap open. Yesterday I closed it when it was the same temperature and it got to 33 Celsius in here with uh, four flaps like I said earlier. So um, I might leave it open today whilst we go to the beach. Someone started mowing the lawn. As you can see, it's um, 11.30. Yep, I've been filming for over an hour, almost two hours. It takes time, guys, to make a video. Um, especially when you're doing little jobs in between. You can see here, whilst we're here, as a bonus ending to the video, the um, egg fruit, which I put in the ground. The Rolinia back there. I'm thinking of cutting off this branch here, which is hanging. See this branch here? that's hanging over this guy to make the tree more uniform what do you guys think about that leave him or get rid of him to have the tree just looking like this without that down there then we've got the two bananas which are doing splendidly well the blue java or ice cream banana and down there the grand nine an offshoot of the Cavendish and that's got the pups as well then I've got um, a lot of potted trees which didn't fit in the um, greenhouse got about 10 of them these are a mix and these are all doing well some of them are subtropical some of them are temperate like um, uh, Jabaricaba white sapote cherry the Rio Grande uh, Brazilian cherry yeah so this is the dwarf macadamia doing really good the green sapote in ground one of two doing really good one two black sapotes in pots one two Star fruits doing really good. Um, um, custard apple in ground. Yeah, Jabu di Kaba, like I said. And uh, white, white sapote, pitanga tuba. Yeah, these are getting full sun. As you can see now, it's um, almost completely full sun here. I got rid of the uh, cucumber vine, pulled that out yesterday, and gave it to the uh, um, longan and to the bananas. Right, and the taro is doing great, really, really good, guys. It doesn't even feel like autumn, it still feels like summer, even though we had. Um, couple of weeks of cool weather in mid-march it feels and looks exactly like summer trust me check out the uh, the sugar cane it's gone crazy ever since I pulled out the um, the hedge from hell there's the ice cream bean up there at uh, six meters 
and that's full of fruit and that's the uh, the two varieties of passion fruit growing on the vine here and uh, the sweetheart started flowering last week we might get fruit before winter there you go the flower closed now yesterday it was fully open so that's one and another one just there yeah so it's ready to do um, business the passion fruit the sweetheart so I'm pretty stoked all around but getting rid of that um, hedge that was here the hedge from hell And to wrap it up guys, this is what you're going to get next, an update from this greenhouse. This is more of a temporary greenhouse for um, seedlings. And what's in here is overflow that wouldn't fit in the other two greenhouses. So I'm planning to get another greenhouse, believe it or not, a fourth one to, to house these and to house the, the ones I just showed you outside in the X hedge, because I don't want these in my way when I do, when I do, um, uh, seedlings I don't want um, um, I don't want to be walking you know in here in between these this is in my way so this is temporary okay so um, you're gonna get to see all these in the next update how the uh, jackfruit are doing the abu, the sapodilla, uh, mamesa podi, mangoes all the the seedlings that I that I germinated from seed and um, some of the other dailies plants I got and to my friend in Melbourne um, his his um, trees he did a video recently on his um, trees in the greenhouse and they were looking a little burnt out well this is uh, 11 in the morning now right and the temperature is 27 hang on uh, 28 it's 28 Celsius in here right not bad and I've got the um, the cover on open have a look look so they need to breathe man they need to breathe because this, this doesn't have flaps on the side there's no windows so I told him that when the temperature is over 24 Celsius out here to open the, the greenhouse door the flap so that um, the trees can breathe otherwise you'll get aphids like I got or the the trees will just go the leaves right they need oxygen they need to breathe okay so thanks for watching guys we'll come back with another video we're off to the beach now to enjoy our easter five day easter break at the beach and i uh, hope you have a good easter and enjoy your your holidays see you from the next video